friends! Welcome back to another video! My name is Sarah Ray Vargas and I must have 7,000 things to show you so we're gonna zip through as quickly as we can. Every single pair of shorts that I show you are a size 16 and every single top, every dress, everything else is a size one. There's a lot of stuff in the background. Pretend like that's not there. Thank you very much. So obviously by the title you know I'm featuring fashion figures. Um, new like they have a bunch of like spring and summery stuff out. They have a ton of shorts, dresses and all that and this video is sponsored by them so I got like all of it and now instead of actually having to link every individual item in the description box I have a, a very convenient landing page over on FTF. So I'm gonna link that down below for you guys. You can click there and you can see everything that I'm showing you along with everything that I'm not showing you. So <laughs> I have a lot. I don't think I'll be able to get through all of it. Um, but I do have a code for you guys. So they always have sales going on all the time and my code can be used on top of those sales. So my new code is 115231 and you can use that and um, when you go to check out, it'll give you an additional 10% off of your order, excluding like the uh, clearance and um, I think the shapewear. How cute is this dress? I love this dress. So I showed you one just like this uh, last month. <sighs> I wanna show you how long it is because it's pretty much floor length for me, but it's like right on the ground and I'm five foot four and I like to wear sandals with these, like strappy but um, flat sandals and they're so comfortable but I did show you one last month and it was a little bit darker it was a navy one as well I have had this style of dress so many times fashion figure does this one the absolute best it is like hands down my favorite style I don't typically wear any kind of shapewear or anything like that with them this one has a slit that comes up the left side but it's like pretty you know low on the thigh so there's not too much being exposed it's a faux wrap it has a belt but the belt I mean it's functional <laughs> but the dress is already quite fitted so it really just acts to kind of emphasize that faux wrap look has a nice you know neckline on it it's higher up you can kind of close it you can kind of open it do your thing super comfortable super super flattering so pretty so pretty I love it 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 fashion figure kills it when it comes to dresses <sighs> and denim shorts you guys Hold on, be right back. Okay, hello again, hello again, it's me. Hello again. So this dress I actually like that the back doesn't have the detail that the front does on it because sometimes these little, these are actually like um, rhinestones. Sometimes they get annoying when you gotta sit on them and then they end up rubbing off. It can be really irritating. This dress has like a really stretchy, spandexy kind of feel to it. I think it's really cute, but it's actually pretty comfortable as well. It's not like too tight in any particular area. I would definitely wear like a higher power um, shapewear with it though because because of the lines and the way that it's pronounced and shiny like the belly line is super visible but you know what it's it's a really cute look though it's a very like jazzy kind of night out look I like it this jumpsuit I think fits about a thousand times better than the one I showed you guys last month this one is stretchier again um, I have like a like a shaper panty on so I would definitely have one that goes to the thigh you know I've considered doing a video purely on like Instagram and Facebook ad like uh not Spanx, but you know, like shapewear basically, but just internet shapewear. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Put it down in the comments. You let me know. It's a very, very, very comfortable jumpsuit. It actually zips all the way up the back. I didn't zip it all the way because I'm about to take it back off, but it's stretchy all the way around. And then this center part here is actually functional. It does come all the way open and you can kind of give it as much or as little bit of coverage or cleavage or whatever that you want to have. You can probably fold it like into a bow because the straps are pretty long but overall it's really very comfortable. Um, I'm only showing you guys really like the best of the best that I have in front of me because like I said I have like a bazillion items and <laughs> I just want to show you guys what I think you would really like and what you would really enjoy so if you do have any questions that maybe some other items that you see or anything that I'm showing you since I'm kind of zipping through today then um, just let me know and I will be more than happy to answer them down below hey don't mind that I put the underneath part on wrong I don't think I showed you guys this one but I know I showed you a similar one and I've showed them in years past because these are one of my favorite types of dresses so this is the kind that obviously there's a print on top but the print itself is on a mesh like overlay and then underneath you have a 
kind of a silkier feeling, um, like a bodycon, but it's a camisole style, but the two are actually connected. I just find these dresses to be like so incredibly flattering. I love wearing them. They're good for when it's hot outside or cold out. It snowed again yesterday. I don't know what the heck's happening with spring weather. Um, but like, it's good because, you know, the sleeves, like your arms are covered, but it's made out of mesh, so it's still nice and cool and, you know, ventilated up in here, which is great. And it's just, oh, it's just such a good fit. I'm in love with these dresses. Love them, love them, love them. They're so cute. Look at this. How cute is this? This is great. I love this. How cool is this windbreaker? I feel very cool right now. I just feel like a cool guy. So anyway, um, this, this I got in a one as well. Like I mentioned before, I love it. It's so cool looking. I have been looking at a bunch of different stores um, for like a windbreaker. I love the pullover kind. When I was in middle school, I exclusively wore pullover windbreakers. <laughs> they had lining, okay? So I could make it through like the fall and winter months if I tried real hard. Um, but one day they got stuck in my locker and I went to yank it out instead of undoing the locker. I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, I got ripped to shreds, broke my heart, never wore a windbreaker again. But this one looks awesome. Also, I got these dope bike shorts. They have the sheer paneling on the side. These I got in a one, realistically though, I should have got a two on the shorts because, mm, you know, bike shorts, they're tight. They're like very fitted. So I can wear them and I'm comfortable in them because they're stretchy. Uh, but I think I prefer like another, I don't know. I kind of prefer like another inch of length on a bike short. Um, but at the same time, they, they don't look bad, right? I mean, they look fine, I think. Uh, so I could probably do a one or a two, but if I was going for like comfort, 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 real comfort, I'd probably do a two. But if I was just going to like look cool and be this guy, this cool guy, I'd probably just stick with the ones. <laughs> like I said, I can't wear it all. So <laughs> they also have these in a camo version, which I love, but these I feel like don't go quite as well with this dope ass windbreaker. So, you know. But you see how like they're, they're, <laughs> man, they're kind of fitted. They're fitted, but they are extremely stretchy. These ones also have the panel on the side, so. In case you're a camo lover, my friend. These would go great with like a black hoodie, which is kind of like my everyday ensemble. Was that enough dresses? Cause I have like 17 more, but was that enough? Cause I really want to move on to the denim now. I want to move on to the denim shorts. I am a connoisseur of denim shorts. My collection started to grow a few years ago. I will go high end, I will go very inexpensive, affordable, $16 shorts, okay? I will play the field. I will get straight size, I will get plus size, I will buy anyone's shorts. Let me tell you, I have tried fashion figure shorts. There was one pair in the past that I fell in love with and I wore the crap out of them and I love them, but it was just one pair. It was one pair, I still have them, they're still great, but others came up and they kind of started taking their place, right? So for sizing reference, at like Torrid Lane Bryan Fashion Figure, I would wear a 16. At let's say Target Straight Size, um, Old Navy, uh, American Eagle, Express, what have you, I would wear closer to an 18. And then with shorts, no matter who I get them from, I typically size up one size. At Fashion to Figure, every single pair of shorts that I'm gonna show you are a size 16 and they all fit like they were created for me, like I was the fit model. So they're amazing, I have thick, thighs and I have a um, somewhat smaller waist compared to my thighs. So if you have any kind of proportions like this, honey, let me introduce you to your new favorite home of the denim shorts. Also, I would like to thank Fashion Figure for being the pioneers in the functional pocket game. Okay, functional pockets in the front, functional pockets in the back. Thank you very much. Anyway, okay. So enough of all that, let me actually start showing them to you. Like I said, they're all gonna be in a size 16. They all have stretch. They all have good stretch. This outfit kind of gave me like festival vibes. P.S. I have like a festival giveaway, but I missed festival season. And so I'm like, do I still do it? Cause it's, I mean, the giveaway is legit. I spent like 500 bucks, right? Like, <laughs> anyway, these shorts are a little bit on the higher side compared to some of the other ones I'm gonna show you, but they still have inches back here beyond the butt. I think most of them actually make my butt look really good, which is great for a denim short. They all, every single one, has a really great fit around my waist. None of them are too tight. I don't have any overhang, even when I don't have the, uh, shaper painting on. And this is just like a cute little fun rocker kind of tee, but I thought it kind of went with the vibe of the tassel shorts. They look so good. Let's move on because they all look really good. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited that I get to tell you that these shorts are the... 
I don't use this word, but they're the, you know, you know what they are. All right, so these videos are really to educate you guys before you shop so that you don't end up buying stuff that doesn't fit you or what have you. I know I said every pair fit amazing. This one pair didn't have the same fit to me as pretty much every other pair. This is the high-waisted roll cuff short. And again, I had gotten these ones in a 16. And um, I could get them up and they were fine, but they're not nearly as comfortable as all the other ones I'm gonna show you. So I didn't wanna show you one that I kind of liked. Um, I wanna only show you the ones that I really like. So if you're interested, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those, but I would size up basically. Um, if you're interested though, this is another roll cuff pair. So that just means that the cuff is rolled. I'm sure you got that. This one's actually a button one. I only button the top one because I'm, there's a lot of clothes here. I don't want to like do all the buttons if I don't have to. Um, so I only button the top one. Like I said, great fit, just like the other one. Um, I took off the shaper panty so that it's really just like a natural fit. You can see how it, um, you know, rests on my body. And it's just, it's such oh, it's such a good fit. So of course with every pair of shorts, before I jump into the swimsuit to get to take my bra off, okay. Um, I'm gonna show you some other blouses. So this one I thought was so cute. I don't think I would pair it. Yeah, I don't think I'd pair it with these shorts. I would pair them with a darker pair of shorts or a black pair of shorts. Um, or like some trouser shorts. I wonder if they have trouser shorts. I used to love wearing trouser shorts. It made me feel so like, Fancy. This one's dope because it has like this nice little ruffle so it's like fun and flirty and it covers your arms up a little bit um, but then this whole entire area here is all stretchy so it like you know conforms to your body and then it kind of flows out again but it's not like a straight up like peplum top which is not my favorite top but I am going to show you one that I thought was kind of cute. Actually is it even peplum? I don't even know if it is. Hold on. Pause, hang on. So I do not typically gravitate towards peplum tops anymore. Um, but this one I thought was actually really cute. I really am a huge fan of black and white. So black and white stripes, like, just give it to me. I love it. The illusion, like, everything kind of comes to a, a head here at the nipple area. This is, this is fun to look at. Um, I, I feel like it almost kind of draws your eye in here. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe this is a personal problem I should work on. I don't know. Um, but it has, uh, like, a one-sided ruffle sleeve. And then it's just a peplum. It's, um lightweight i was expecting this to be like a really thick like super scuba kind of material if you guys know what i'm talking about like the ones that are really kind of stiff they're kind of heavy and they almost feel like foam this one is not like that this one definitely settles a bit and it doesn't like just kind of explode into like this big giant cupcake which that's the thing i don't want to look like a cupcake and that's what i feel like a lot of times in a peplum top but these shorts, if you guys are interested in longer shorts, we're moving into some Bermudas. I have some other short ones as well, but these are super, super, super duper comfortable. Um, these ones have a raw edge, kind of like frayed edge, um, but they don't have any distressing, which I actually really like. Guys, they look so good from behind. They're not super high. These are, they're a high waist. They're like, but they're like on the low side of a high waist, but I wouldn't call them a mid-rise. I don't know if they call them a mid-rise, but when you cover up my little bit of fat on the side here, then you've eventually, <laughs> you've officially entered high-waisted territory on my body. So I'm confident in calling them a high waist, um, but the back doesn't go up super high, which is actually kind of nice, because I do actually like to show off my back a little bit in the summertime. Hi. They're just, they're so comfortable. I wish I could explain to you, like, you know, sometimes you put on denim shorts and your thighs are being suffocated, or your waist is just like, oh, you're just really, really, really sucked in. Um, like, basically the shorts don't have enough stretch and a lot of retailers I feel like just don't put enough stretch in for my personal liking but all of the ones that I'm showing you are very stretchy but not to the point where they're like hard to get on like they're like stuck to your body they're so good they're just mwah, perfect oh no I forgot about this dress I took my shaper painting off so use your imagination okay um it's so pretty I felt like I had to show it to you guys I know a lot of people do um like all white parties and stuff in the spring and summertime uh, this one, it fits very similarly to the mesh one that I showed you. Um, the top half is obviously see-through and only the bottom half has that lining on it. This print goes all the way around. It's so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. It is like a pull-on dress, but I think, does it have? Oh no, it doesn't have a zipper. Yeah, so you just pull it on. It is like a stretchy dress. Um, I would either wear it, I wouldn't typically wear it with a nude bra, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't hate it. I wouldn't wear this nude bra. Um, but I love to wear stuff like this that is see-through on the top with like full, full, full coverage, plain white bras. Like you don't want to do too much underneath because there's already so much going on. 
but it looks so good and I just I love the look that it gives like it looks a little higher fashion a little fancier but at the same time like basically your boobs are just out I just I love it it's such, it's such a cute little vibe I forgot about this too so this is a white romper and the zipper goes all the way up in the back but I don't have it zipped all the way but it's full coverage I mean it's white so you are going to be able to see your panty if you're not wearing something it's like oh my gosh I have the ultimate wedgie um if you're not wearing something nude or white basically then you're gonna be able to see the panty but it 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 has like a lining on the inside as well which is nice so it is a thicker material I definitely need shapewear or something with it because like it's really really just exposing all my secrets like oh yeah she had Jenny's video yesterday yeah you can see it on her hello again so this top also comes in black in case you're curious it's like um, a sheer top and it just has a big ruffle on it obviously the over the shoulder, sorry, the off the shoulder mesh pop over. Um, so I have the white one on and I think it's kind of long, but I really like it when it's knotted. And then these shorts are the um, Bermudas I was telling you about. So these ones come in a pretty nice length. Like they have a little distressing on them, which is good. Like it's, sometimes Bermudas are not cute <laughs> um, so I like when they have the distressing they have a little bit more going on they have these um you can feel it you can feel like the what is this called it almost feels like a pleat basically um but you can feel like these creases right here but it's nice because it disguises that belly line if you're looking to do that and of course just come to expect functional pockets my friends this is the home of them um the back I feel like looks really good like I said they're a really good length and I think that I think the top, okay, that one was a little high. I did it better earlier. But uh, the top is super cute as well. Guys, look at this top. How amazing is this color? I'm just obsessed with it, okay? They have like a matching skirt. I don't know if the skirt is sold out or what, but they didn't send me the skirt. And that was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. But I'm loving this color right now. Obviously, you're seeing it like on everybody and their mama. This color is super hot. But it's just, oh, it's so cute. It would look good with these shorts too. These are the same ones I just had on. I haven't taken them off yet. Um, what else was I going to say, though? But they have it in, like, different items and stuff. You know, they have, like, a jumpsuit. And then they have, like, you know, t-shirt. Not t-shirts. They have it in, like, some blouses and stuff as well. If you're digging neon kind of, like, limey colors right now, check them out. Okay. We're going to move into the swimsuits. And I'm going to make a little deal with you guys, all right? Because I feel like swimsuits are some of the most exciting thing to purchase, like, in the spring and summertime. And... I think it helps to see someone else try them on because they tend to run a lot of different sizes from retailer to retailer and honestly just from one style to the next. So like I mentioned, I got the swimsuits one size too small. So I got them all in a size one. How cute are these bottoms? I got them all in a size one and I can get them on, but they don't fit right. And it's important to feel good in your clothing and to feel good in what you're wearing it's important for the items to fit you like growing up you know i had a lot of the same style to be honest with you i didn't have the money to buy what i wanted but when i did get to go to the store and pick stuff out i was shopping in places that didn't have things that really fit my body i could get them on but they were uncomfortable and if you're wearing things that are uncomfortable or the wrong size you're not gonna feel as good as you possibly can in them most likely some of you i'm sure can feel good no matter what but uh that's not me so they have really really cute suits okay but like i said i got mine in the wrong size so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get them all in the proper size and if you guys want to follow me on instagram i'm at sarah ray on instagram sarah with three h's i will put it down here um i will go ahead and do a full-on like in-depth um try on haul with all of this stuff maybe i'll do it on live or maybe i'll just do it and put it in my stories um but if you guys follow me on instagram you can catch that in the next probably in the next two weeks or so in the next uh two weeks i think i'm gonna be flying out somewhere nice and warm and we'll just go ahead and do a try on haul there so if you follow my instagram i will definitely follow up with um a full-on try on for you but right now i am gonna show you one like i said it's not exactly my size but it's still so cute so this is a cover-up and this i got a size one and this fits fine this is really cute I want to say they have it in black too. I could be crazy, um, but you can tighten and loosen the sides, which is nice. Fashion Figure has good quality 
swimwear and cover-ups. Like, I love their cover-ups. If you guys remember my Mexico vlog when I fell, um, that cover-up that I lost was from Fashion and Figure and everybody was like gutted over it, but uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to bring that one back. <laughs> because I never saw it again and stayed in the tree that tripped me. But this swimsuit, like I said, top is in a one, bottom is in a one. Um, they're definitely too snug on me, not how I like for my stuff to fit, but the style I think is really cute. They're a high rise, but right now they're fitting a little bit more on a mid rise kind of level. I think the top is not, the top is actually not bad. I mean, this top fits me fine, I would say. <laughs> um, I don't think I need a, uh, go up a size in this top. But like I said, follow my Instagram and I will be more than happy to show you like a full on run of the swimsuits and all that and how they fit and sizing. And I think I'll do it, I should do it live. Maybe we'll like schedule a live. If you guys wanna see a live Instagram try on haul, then let me know. I just gotta make sure I don't accidentally end up naked on camera. Hmm. Last but not least, this is definitely my summer style, like hoodies and stuff like this. This is an actual, um, hoodie it's obviously knit it has all the little holes everywhere like it warms you up a little bit but you know it's not too hot you're not wearing a real legit like thick old hoodie in the summertime or anything um but then these shorts these are also my favorites i don't know why i saved them to last like how many of you made it here can we can you just can you drop some oranges or drop me like a fruit basket of sorts down in the bottom so that i know that you made it to the clementine version of sarah <laughs> Anyway, these shorts are by far my favorite. They're so freaking cute. Like the um, the distressing, the little raw hem on them, the thing going down the side. I love it. They're so cute. They're a perfect length, like this mid thigh length. That's it for me, baby. And then this hoodie also comes in this like, I get is this navy? It's not navy, is it? I mean, it's lighter than navy. It comes in this blue color. Let's just call it blue. Oh my goodness. Oh, one more thing. Dang, I almost forgot it, you guys. Forgot. Okay, so first of all, don't forget that I'm going to have a link down there where you guys can pick up any of these things plus a bunch of other stuff and it'll all be together and um, you can use that code 115231 on FTF.com or you can actually go in store and use it in store and get an additional 10% off on top of sale prices. It just doesn't work on clearance and on um, their shapewear, I believe. So, one last thing for everyone that wants to wear shorts or dresses or whatever in the summertime especially and you can't because your legs rub together and they basically create a uh, just a fire in between your thighs and it really hurts this is what i use i've mentioned it at least a thousand times but one more time can't possibly hurt this is the monosac complete care chafing relief powder gel you find it at walgreens at walmart at target at whatever freaking place you go to any drugstore any big box store like you can find it it's like five bucks i think it comes out as a like um kind of just like a clear jelly kind of thing but it does feel like a powder gel it feels like a primer some people use it as primer I use it for more important things like to relieve the burn <laughs> so um, I apply it if I'm gonna be out all freaking day or I'm gonna be getting wet I'm gonna be at the pool or whatever I just keep it with me my daughter takes one to school like I got my mom using it I have a bunch of them um, you find them by like the tampons and the condoms basically at whatever store you're looking at um, they usually come in a little skinny box this is clutch for me I know a lot of people use deodorant that does not work for me I don't know if I got special thighs or what but this stuff works really well and I do reapply it sometimes if I'm gonna be out for a long time once you start going you're like Ooh, I feel a little I feel a little tingle on my thighs right now reapply baby this is gonna save you the summertime my PSA is over hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did and I'm gonna see you in my next one which will be very soon because I'm filming again tomorrow bye guys